what's up DC Nation welcome back to another video on the Suicide Squad this is issue number five and this is the first parts of an all new story arc titled Earth 3 yep the crime syndicates are getting involved in this series and it's crazy now this issue is written by Robbie Thompson Arts is done by Dexter Soy, Eduardo Ponseca, Julio Ferreira, and Joe Prado. Now, diving into this issue, we get the origin of Bloodsport. Bloodsport is officially joined the series, and we start out by introducing his name, right? We find out his name is Robert Dubois, and his brother Mickey died defending his freedom in the military. Whereas Robert decided to become Bloodsport, a villain that hunts Superman. Robert wanted to fight for his freedom in honor of his dead brother. Eventually, Robert was imprisoned in Bel Rev. And guess what? He is now being forced to become a member of the Suicide Squad. We switch to an awesome double page spread that shows Bloodsport attacking different heroes and villains on Earth 3. He has an ace in his hole. Bloodsport has the ability to teleport weapons as needed, and Amanda Waller has given him an unlimited supply. So he's easily going through Earth 3, killing superpowered beings. But now he's in Metropolis. He sees Ultraman, Owlman, and the Emerald Knights. The Crime Syndicate is here. Bloodsport isn't there for them though. He's on Earth 3 for Black Siren. Black Siren is the Black Canary on Earth 3. She is currently robbing a bank and the Crime Syndicates are coming after her. Bloodsport reports to Waller that he sees her. He goes on to talk about how he thinks Earth 3 is the perfect place for him to be. I don't care what you think, Bloodsport. Secure the package. Bring Black Siren to me and stop commenting on your mission. Just get the job done, Amanda Waller says. Waller cuts the comms off and walks away. Agent Parker reports, she says. Agent Parker tells Waller that every prisoner has been locked down since Red X escaped. Peacemaker, Nocturna, Talon, and Culebra are all in a regular cell. Connor Kent, on the other hand, is locked up in a more stronger cell. Waller is worried that she'll not be able to control Connor Kent in the future. He has a lot of potential, and he is very powerful. Now, we also get updates on Rick Flack. He is still out in the winds after he escaped Bell Rev last issue, but I'm pretty sure, guys, that he'll come and attack Waller very soon. We switch back to Earth 3. Bloodsport watches from the window of an apartment. Inside is his Earth 3 self. Plus, his brother Mickey is still alive on this Earth. Bloodsport gets emotional for a second, but then he leaves. Bloodsport looks out in the city and sees the crime syndicates are busy fighting Star Row. So it's the perfect time for him to swing in and kidnap Black Siren. Bloodsport jumps down from the rooftops and chases Black Siren. He goes to grab her by the shoulder, but then she turns around and blasts him back with her scream. Hands off, creep, she says as Bloodsport hits the wall behind him. Bloodsport gets back up and pulls out a sonic blaster. He eventually overwhelms Black Siren and she falls to the ground. Bloodsport holds the sonic blaster above Black Siren's head to give the knockout blow. Hey, bowling ball head, you don't belong here. Ultraman says, swinging in and lifting Bloodsport up by his neck. Bloodsport is caught off guard, and he knows he's in bad trouble. We switch back to Amanda Waller, back in Bel Rev. She has a meeting with Dr. Rodriguez. She tells Waller about the new Swamp Thing, Levi Kamei. He's been hard to track, but finally they found him. Waller is happy with the doctor's news. She walks out of the room and goes up to the cell of Peacemaker. Waller tells him about the Swamp Thing mission. And if I say no, 
Peacemaker asks. You die, Waller says. I came here to bring peace, and so far I'm not seeing any peace. Just us in pieces. I'm not going to fetch you any more recruits until you make me believe in what we're doing here again. Peacemaker says, pulling on his helmets. First of all, I never trusted any of you. Second of all, you die when I say you die. Waller says, shocking Peacemaker to the ground. Waller walks out of the cell and tells Agent Parker to get Peacemaker to Swamp Thing by the time he wakes up. We got a problem with the blood sports, Parker says. Is he alive? Waller asks. For now, but he's asking for the big gun. Parker says we switch back to Earth 3 once again. Ultraman blasts Bloodsport with his heat vision. Bloodsport holds off the blast with his shield. Ultraman then uses his freeze breath and turns Bloodsport's shield to ice. The shield is then crushed into pieces, and Bloodsport jumps up and shoots more guns at Ultraman. Come on, Waller, not this trash. Send me the big gun. He said, shooting multiple bullets at Ultraman's chest. Okay, little man, this has been great, but it's time for you to tell me all your little secrets, starting with why you have a bomb in your head. Ultraman says, destroying Bloodsport's gun. Bloodsport then finally pulls out the big gun, a kryptonite blaster. It affects Ultraman for a second, but then Ultraman gets back up saying, My favorites. Ultraman then grabs Bloodsport by the neck and proceeds to burn the bomb out of his head using his heat vision. Now you're probably wondering, why is Ultraman more stronger now? Shouldn't the kryptonite be hurting him? Nope, it actually makes him more powerful. Ultraman drops Bloodsport to the ground, defeated. Once Bloodsport wakes up, Ultraman will interrogate him and find out who Waller is. See, Ultraman overheard Bloodsport talking to Waller in the comms during the fights. And now, he wants to find out who Waller is and then go attack her. And that is how we end this issue, a solid cliffhanger that gets me excited for this new story arc. Bloodsport's new design looks great, and he's a cool character to add into the series, especially since James Gunn's Suicide Squad movie is coming out in about like a month now. I also really like that this series has shifted away from Red X and more toward like Earth 3 and the Crime Syndicate because I think that Red X should just stay in the Titans comics where he fits. Where for the Suicide Squad, having them go to Earth 3 to face off against the Crime Syndicate is just dope. Plus, the artwork in this issue is amazing. Dexter Soy turns in the best work, in my opinion. His artwork just looks great. And yeah, guys, I'm overall going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. I recommend it. But yeah, you guys, tell me your thoughts on this issue down below in the comment section. If you like the video, give a big thumbs up. New to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Suicide Squad video. And yeah... Thanks for watching, and peace out.